I'm in a good mood. So am I. <laughs> We're going to take a question from Facebook. Okay. A young woman wrote in, wants to know, can you have sex on the first date? Back in the 60s, we had sex first to find out if we wanted to be friends. That makes so much sense to me, doesn't it? Make sense to you because I don't want an emotional attachment. See, I was if the sex energy isn't there, and that no. can happen with some people. No, no, but you don't. Yeah, that is the best way to know whether you not you like someone. Yeah, but you have to be. You have to be fully sexual. You have to know about your own orgasm. You have to be masturbating. Totally. And... So when you're sexually knowledgeable, always have sex on the first date and, and find out that. If that's someone that you want to get to know better. Now, we know that the, the this younger generation has gone through the changes with, you know, getting their, showing each other their records. When did you last Well, down. AIDS and HIV. So, we have to factor that in. Yeah, we're talking about safe sex. And sometimes we're not even including vaginal penetration. Like, what's half sex? What does that mean? Oh. Oh. oh, oh. Now, that's an even more interesting Conversation. facet, you know. So what everybody means, from from my understanding, is that when they use the word sex, they mean a penis inside of a vagina. Exactly. Which is the procreational model. Yes. And whenever you're talking penetration, as a woman, you're that's the highest risk of getting an STD or HIV. Exactly. The penis in the vagina. Now, of course, you're always going to use protection. And having casual sex, in a way, keeps you using protection because you don't get any bad habits. I find people that are serial monogamous that bounce from relationship to relationship the, next, the first time out after they break up is dangerous. Yes, because they're not used to it. They don't know how to yeah. do it. They're not buying the condoms. They yeah. don't know how to put them on right. They don't know about the lubricant. It's almost like being a hoe can save your ass. <laughs> Literally. Being a hoe, is that what you said? <laughs> when I grew up in the 50s, 40s, 50s, um, the idea of having uh, sex on the first date would make you a slut. Oh, yeah. Then you get a bad reputation. Oh, bad reputation. Then, because uh, all the guys are going to tell each other, and they're all going to ask you out, so everyone will know. So the, oh, and, and here's the thing: if you're not monogamous with one person, then that means you're available to all men. If one man doesn't own yes, you, yes, yeah, and that's the whole point of this. We're trying to break through the virginity myth, the purity myth, when women were property and given to other men, and you had to be chaste. So you know, yeah, that's that's over with. It's a it's a woman's the woman gets to determine this. It's our prerogative. Yeah. The other thing is that if the man doesn't respect you, he's not going to be serious about you, and you'll never get a man. That and you'll never get married. Let me tell you, I've had like ten marriage proposals. I foolishly took one divorce. <laughs> anyway, well now anyway. I had sex with each one of them on the first date. That's my litmus test. If you're the type oh. of guy that won't respect me. Because I know what I want, and when I see it, I go and take it, and I get off, then you're not the man for me. Like, it's not going to work out anyway. No. So, I had sex with Eric on the first date, and we were together for 10 years. And what I, about... Uh, my man, I had sex on the first date, we're living together five years. So, it's a different time, it's mm -hmm. a different age, it's a different phase, a different period, and you can have sex when you want to, and if it seems right on the first date, absolutely. And on your terms... Always on your terms, darling. This is we're, we're talking to the woman now. Always on your terms. In other words, it has to. You don't have to. Oh, and here's the other thing. It doesn't have to be penetration sex. No, it can be oral sex. It can be manual sex. I love a little manual sex. Oh, well, everyone does. It always starts in the back of the cab. <laughs> Let's diddle, share diddle, a cab diddle, on our way home diddle, from diddle, the date. Diddle, diddle, diddle. diddle, diddle. <laughs> My generation of feminists fought for the right for you to have birth control. And uh, safe sex, and yes, if it's your decision, have sex on the first date. Absolutely. That's sexual freedom.